just your thoughts on this one. You know, we knew that uh, Stanford, you know, in the past when we played them, especially them coming after a loss, uh, they like to play real physical. That's a big they're physical. I felt like at the beginning of the game, uh, you know, the players didn't listen to us in the sense of how physical or didn't understand how physical it was. You know, shook up the lineup a little bit, uh, shook up the lineup, and uh, you know, with a certain lineup, we started switching one through five. I thought that kept us in the game. Eight-point game at halftime. Uh, second half, we did a really good job. Uh, we shot 61 percent from the field, just couldn't defend. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same kind of the 57 percent in the second half. Um, Spencer Jones six for seven from the three-point line. We kept telling the guys, uh, got to have that urgency. And then we put on the like 27 times to yeah. our seven. Yeah. So on the road, that is right there is the game. So, you know, and, and I wouldn't say all of them were fouls, but we were fouling. We weren't disciplined enough to, to we were reaching. Uh, we weren't switching how we, we work on switching to take something away, not letting them get down the middle. And, uh, but you also got to tip your hat to Stanford. They were playing with a sense of urgency. Uh, and I think that's why they ended up going to foul line more than we did in the second. Yeah, and just how tough was it to defend Spencer? Because it felt like he didn't have the ball in his hands. A long time, like usually, they probably took it. six dribbles the entire thing, and that's what we kept telling these guys. A little bit like Clay Thompson, guys. he goes in his big and he has a very high release. And we just, you know, until you play against him, you know, KB played against him last year, Moses hasn't, like you don't really understand. Um, it was a two point game, the first time out, they threw over the corner, and we kept telling them, no Jones threes. So, uh, you know, it, just lesson learned, hard to win on the road, but you can't win on the road with a team you know, plus 20 from the foul line and then six for seven. It was 64, 63 with seven minutes left. It felt like you guys kind of got right back into it. That was after KG three, three point play there. And then it just kind of felt like they, they slowly kind of built that lead back up. What happened at that point? You know, and sometimes, sometimes our best offensive team, uh, or excuse me, our best defensive team is not our best offensive team. So we were trying to go back and forth. And we did have a little bit of a with And you know, the teams are doing a great job. One of the reasons why our, our rebounds are, are decent now is the teams are just running back in transition. They're not letting us get transition. This is pretty smart. That's been a big part of our offense. And so, you know, we've got to be able to adapt. It's, it's hard because we put ourselves in position to win, but you can't give up six for seven, or three for another player, and 27 for the throws is just not, not, not a winning recipe. And did you my last point? Just in terms of the big picture, just kind of how you guys did the road trip. It was so unusual, right? Yeah, yeah. Being on the road for eight days in conference. That doesn't happen. Just, just, you never know what, it, you know, the, you make decisions based on what you think is the best for the student athletes and for your kids to, you know, uh, have a great experience. And, uh, you know, I uh, wish we would have won too, but I, you know, it's, uh, there's a lot of positives to it. Uh, now it's just a chance to get home and, you know, protect home court. You know, we were able to pick up one, I felt like so far in the season, we've been very front heavy in terms of being on the road. And that all evens out. So we'll go on our run. We're excited about it. Uh, we just got to keep getting better. You know, these these second half numbers are just not. If we don't fix that, you know, can't be the team that we want to be.